Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This week we continue to review an Ayumi Yamasaki album and today I will review her fourth album, I Am. Before we get started, I want to remind you that this is simply my opinion on the album and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. When I first started getting into Ayumi Yamasaki's music back in 2006, I remember being recommended two albums, I Am and Rainbow. Both of these albums are considered to be the best Ayumi Yamasaki albums, but however, it took me a long time to really get into both albums, and especially the one I'm going to talk about today, I Am. The album also contains the first song I ever heard from Ayumi, which is M, and it is the one song that really got me into her music and made me become a fan of her work for a time. Now, I Am came out 17 years ago, once again on January 1st like a song for X. And I don't know what it is with albums from Ayumi that come out on January 1st, but they are among my favorite others. I Am is basically the explosion of Ayumi's talent and music style coming at you at full speed. This album is one of the most fascinating to me because it gives you so many musical twists like on the songs Evolution or Never Ever and Evolution being one of her most famous songs to this day and fan favorite and honestly I can see why because this song starts almost like a ballad and then it just become an absolute tornado of a song. Its energy is so addictive, I remember listening to it non-stop back when I really got into music. And even to this day, I still hold a dear spot for it. I Am is also the continuation of Ayumi's music, mixing electro dance pop elements to heavy rock melodies and once again she does it amazingly well and it's crazy to me how no one ever got close to what she did all these years with this blending of all of these music styles together like that and it really stays as a very peculiar sound in her music and especially on a song like Still Alone that carries such weight both in its melody and in the way Ayumi sings, there's just so many emotions that come out of this song, it's incredible. And speaking of emotion, how oh, can I not talk about M? What a song, even to this day. It starts in such a soft manner, just like many others on this album, but once it is going, there is so much to process, but it feels like such a powerful song. And on the other hand, a song like Dearest really packs on the thoughtful and emotional, more common ballad, but still, you recognize its chorus right away when you hear it. If I have one complaint about this album is that it tends to feel quite repetitive, especially because Ayumi does tend to follow the same patterns when it comes to how she envision a song structure and so you get the cheesy synthesizer sounds and the heavy guitars appearing together and if it works on most songs I felt like for example on the song No More Words it does make it a bit cheesier than it needs to be. Overall, I Am is an album that I feel is a must if you want to get into her music. And what is so peculiar about it is that it has a sound that doesn't quite feel like the early 2000s and still doesn't feel like anything I've heard from anyone else but Hayumi. And even to this day, this is why this album feels so unique in her discography. And of course it contains some of her biggest hits and songs that I'm very fond of. And that is why I give the album 4 stars. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to tell me what you think of I Am down below. And I'll see you next week for my review of Rainbow.